<laughs> experience. No, I actually, his story bro, about being a guys, CDM. I actually play this CDM. guy. I guess he play everywhere, bro. Right. Hey. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Usni. Welcome to the OBT show. Only big time man, as you know. I'm always with the only and the unique big time. What do you do? Big time, it's about little bit. Y'all already know this. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about the position of a good CDM and CDM a good CDM. What is it? What is his qualities? What is it required to be a good CDM in the game? But before we get into today's episode, please make sure you guys go check out the other episode, man, on Spotify, Apple Music. Apple Podcast everywhere, man. We're dropping a new episode every Wednesday, man. And you guys make sure you guys keep up with the content. So let's get straight to it, man. So when you come to when we talk about CDM, mostly, bro, like, 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 how do you understand that, bro? Like, for you, what is a CDM? Like, the, first of all, CDM. We're before talking even about, like what well, it can do, like, what is it? First of all, CDM, we're talking about a like, defensive mean for okay. people that don't know. I hope all the big timers know something. You know that, <laughs> hopefully. Least, you know? But like, yeah, we're talking about center defensive mean CDM. But bro, when you talk about CDM, I think about like big times, you know, Kante's, mm -hmm. you know, I can say some recent guys, but like if you think about the that, past, Bastet, Schoensteiger, yeah, the man. Lampard, the yeah, Bala, you Gattuso. know, Gattuso, all yeah. those guys, you know, Let's shout out to them, you know. Yeah. But yeah, CDM, I feel like it's just the game of the shadow, man. It's Most of the time. The, I would say, yeah, the play of the shadow, pretty much, yeah. as you already said. You're like, always in the shadow. You know, like, they, like most of the time in the field, those are they're the guy if they're there they're doing their job but we're not really acknowledging their yeah, game but really once they're not there we definitely start missing them definitely. you know what i'm saying definitely so it means that they have an impact to of it, course right? but just so, they, they have an impact that we cannot see like you have to pay attention to see it yeah. you know what i'm saying you don't just come there and see them because you're not the one that's scoring or like making the fancy stuff yeah. but but now that we know what is it like what what do you think are the responsibility i'm not saying about the quality like the responsibility like how does they they help the game? Like, what oh, are their job on the field? Like? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like literally, all the job they do, like they play behind other players. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So okay. basically, they're the guys that that fix all the midfield, the yeah. mistake that happened in the midfield. They're yeah. the one that see all those things. That's okay. what number one responsibilities. I feel like your awareness. Okay, that would be one of your. That's probably quality. No, it's not a quality. It's it's your responsibilities. It's a quality, but that's your number one responsibility okay. as a CDM. Okay, because you're the one that literally. I feel like fix all the mistake other guys is doing there because you literally behind those guys. Okay. So you're the one that reading for them, you know? Yeah. So that's what I feel like. Well, that's yeah. one of your responsibilities. Okay. If you have a CDM that, that always clean people's mistake before they even come to the center back, then we're strong down, down there. Yeah. And also I was thinking, I was just, I, I, for me, I think the CDM is like the player that had a lot of flow to the game. He controlled the pace of the game. For me, if the CDM is slow, the transition defense attack will be slow. That's that's honestly that's what I think. That's what my opinion. So I think like if you have a slow CDM, the transition from the defense to attack, because I think that's the job of the CDM is bring the ball, give it from the defense to attack. When you know sometimes when we're under pressure, he's the guy that pace the game as how we want to play. No, as all the other team even want to play. So I think that's for me. I think it's important to have this player in the so, team. So like um. I, de I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah. But if we think about it, yeah. right? Most of the time, right now in the modern soccer, they're playing the soccer with like three guys in the middle. Yeah. Right? So like when I think about the CDM actually, yeah. of course I see what you're saying. Like, you know, if we take some exception to the rules. Okay. The um, Busquets. Okay. Let's not compare Busquets, bro. Like even in the pro level, we can compare Busquets with any guys there, you know? But most of the time, the team, they have one guy that's actually CDM. Yeah. So his ro so his job is not to control the pace. Like you know, I can see that, but not in all the cases. Okay. You know, there is one guy that controls the pace. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For example, um, with uh, Liverpool, Fabinho is not F Fabinho is not there to control the pace. I don't think that's his main job. Yeah. But they're putting Garner side that control the. P there is one that controlling the pace, okay. and there is one that's what is him um creating the game okay. you know but they, we need one guy that's gonna clean all the mistakes those guys are gonna do okay. you're talking about like the like maybe a little bit old you know like the Gattuso those guys that they have to control the game the Pirlo they have to control the pace they have to defend they have, okay. you, know, that, you know what I'm saying but right now I feel like in the modern soccer it's different. but I definitely see what he's saying though you know you think it's different in the modern soccer no I think it's different because they're removing that like we need a CDM right now that's just gonna stand there and just 
do the dirty job kind of. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if you're gonna do the dirty job, we're gonna expect him all the time to do the clean job too. You yeah. know, everybody have their own job. I mean, like, that's I, see, I, defi- I definitely see what he's saying okay. though. You no, know? that's pretty fair. So let's move forward, right? Go let's ahead. talk about the quality now. Like, what I require to be a good center mid. So we saw a lot of, you know, center mid right now out there. They don't know, like, what the responsibility should be. Like, they don't know what the quality they should work on, what I'm saying. You're talking you know? about young guys. Yeah, I'm talking okay, about young guys, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'm not so going to yeah, talk about right. the pro guys. <laughs> you all know what <laughs> you got to do. About, well, we're talking about the pro guys. They already, they know what they should work on, you know. But um, I'm talking about, like, like you know, our friend, like, like people that, you know, trying to make it to that next level, you know. Like, of course, you know, there's always an area where you got to work on. So, like, what are for you the main thing that you need you know, I don't know, it can be four, five, six. What do you think for you matter the most when it comes to like, you know, because I have some, I can give you some ideas. No, yeah, like, you, you, know, you can go ahead. Defensive. I'm Because gonna... you're trying to put me on the spot right now. <laughs> <and I'm> saying, <laughs> like... No, but because I think for me, like the defensive skill you got to have, you got to be able to tackle, win balls, bro. You got to be able to win balls. Like, oh, I don't man. care if you don't, you cannot project yourself forward at some point, but you got to win some balls. Like, you got to win some balls. That's, that's indeed most like, you got to be do that, bro. You, you, to. you got to win balls. <laughs> like, even though your center back, because you literally like the, the last wall before the, the four defenders. So, like, you got to win balls. You got to be able to cut this action, you know, break the pace at the right time. If you had to take a yellow card, you got to take a yellow card. But you got to be okay, that guy. Now, you know what I'm saying? Not, I'm like, sorry, I'm car- if I'm carrying you, but I see what you mean by the pace of the game. Oh yeah, that's okay, 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 okay. Yeah, type of in thing that, like that. In that case, I see what you mean by the pace yeah. of the game. You know, like slow, slow down the other team pace. Yes. Okay. I yes. thought you were saying my own team. Oh, control no. the, I was like, oh, no, 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 like, like you know when you're under pressure and I then got you it, got, I got, I got it. the ball to that okay. center mid and he's just like, okay, okay, we got this. You know, you know what I'm saying. I got Keeping it, I got the it. position. That's pretty much what I was trying to say. I got but it. you know, moving forward, the quality, you know, defensive skill. I got you know awareness, you know, because that's probably the player that I'm more aware of on the field. Absolutely. Because you know, I'm a forward, right? So, my one is, I'm not looking much like, you know, back in the, the defender. I probably look my midfielder at some point on my defender when I'm expecting a long ball, but I'm turning, I'm going forward, I'm not going backward. But CDM. if you think about a CDM, he can go forward, backward. But like, CDM is 360. He's 360. You gotta exactly. have eyes behind it. It is 360, you know? So, so what are for you some like, kind of like, you know, quality that like we can add up and you know no, like that you guys, think it's really needed like my num- the number one thing i'm gonna say like where we said is awareness that should be like that's a basic if you don't if you're not aware of the game if you're not aware of where you are what's going on around you you like, you cannot be a cdm you know you cannot be you a cannot. cdm or you can pretend that you're a cdm but you cannot you're not a cdm you're just there because there's nobody to replace you yep. but once a real cdm come and most of the time in the team like we don't even gotta ask a CDM what position do you play. Once we see him play in practice, we know this guy's a CDM. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like you know. If, even when like we, we do possession games, no, those, are the, that, that, yeah, those like, are the guys that yeah, those are the guys that always be they're like, always aware. They're always there, more no. aware and like you know losing more less balls than the other. You know, cause that's the that's what the position requires. You know? Like you know you're not gonna expect them to dribble the ball, dribble two guys. You know, as a CDM, I will never put you there if if you know if each occasion you have you're gonna dribble five yeah. or two guys. You know, but, you can't play there. But yeah, like your awareness. Like, you got to make sure your eyes behind your... You know, like, every time coaches say, like, yeah, every time you get the ball, turn, like, a quarter so you can see half of the game. In yeah. CDM, I'm saying, like, I don't even know how to turn for them, but you got to have eyes behind you. You're always yeah. looking back, you know? Yeah. But, like, there is one thing that's really important. The impression of how people see you. You got to be scary as a CDM, man. And when I say scary, I'm not just saying you're the one that come in fighting and all the time. But, guys, I don't know why. There is some stuff. When you play against somebody like Casimiro... You can tell me whatever you want, but when you see the man, he, like, you have feelings that, like, this dude is not normal. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that impression that, like, oh, yeah. very scary. Yeah, even... You know what I'm saying? Like, you see them, you're like, man, this dude looks scary. And the crazy thing is, that's actually a good point that you brought it, because the crazy thing is, you know, we tend to think that, you know, player, we need to be... When we say scary, you got to be strong. No, because think about it. The scariest player out there, then Vidic, you, you remember Vidic, Vidic. Manchester United. Scariest center back I've ever seen. I'm talking about dude is come for your ankles like straight up. He don't come to get the ball like he gets and the ball and your ankles straight up. Everybody was scared of that uh, of village back in the day. You know the biggest Manchester United. You know when they were going crazy. Then like dude wasn't that big. 
It's probably tall, but like, you know. But when you take like both case, Fernandinho. Those guys are scary. When you talk about and, and, and Anderson, just Anderson, and you talk about, you know, Kimi, the Bayern Munich. Bayern those are small, small guys. guys, but. Now, you know, you know like, what I'm saying? You definitely know they're scary. Guys, if you play against, like, like when we say scary, I'm trying to give you guys examples so we can see it. Yeah. Like, they like for example, like Neymar. Neymar is scary guys in the field. You, yeah. we, we know you gotta worry about him all the time. Yeah. When we play as a CDM, you don't gotta worry about as much. But you know this dude would not play with me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, as a CDM, that's a type of that's a type of inner. Sometimes it, people can act like I'm scary, but don't act too much because you're gonna look goofy. Yeah. You see I what mean, I'm if saying? If you can back up that, you know. No, I'm saying like if you like, like you said, like if you can back up. But like most of the time, the guys that can back up, they that, that's their personality. They don't have to act. That's yeah. who they are. Yep. You know. But if you gotta act, that's not you. Yep. Work on it. You see what I'm saying? That's facts. Work on it. So like as a CDM, you gotta be scary, man. And when I say scary, like sometimes you know Casemiro, if he has to take a red card sometime in the game to save his team, he will. You will. You know, even if that means he's gonna take yeah. your ACL, he will. And then. That's that's actually you know that's actually a good point that you just brought it you know actually I actually forgot what I wanted to say just went on my mind but you know let's move forward with another point that I feel like is really important like like this is like something that I've been trying to talk about it for a long time which is fitness and you know stamina strength all that together conditioning pretty conditioning. much so because we can just say fitness man yeah, yeah fitness so. level like you know as a center mid no like I've been telling you that for many time already like. You got to be able to keep up the pace of the game for 90 minutes. I'm talking about 90 minutes. I'm not talking about like no 45. You got to get subbed. This is not the position where you just sub and you just. Because if you sub a center mid, like 20 minutes to the game, you know the college how we be subbing players and you go take a break. No. You sub the center mid. If the dude that was there has a good pace of the game or the flow of his team and you put somebody else. And that same dude cannot bring the same pace and like stability. He might hurt you. He might hurt wow. you. It's not like you change just a forward. You know, it's not like it's not. You know, those are the position where you know it. It, it matters really the person that you put there in the sense of like this type of the style of game and everything. So I I I, I think in order to keep up with that pace, you gotta be able to you know. When I say strength, I'm I'm not talking about big muscle. I'm just talking about you know like somebody that is solid that can handle you know the contact and you know and also you know be able to run for 90 minutes and you know keep up with the game you know because you're gonna play against big guys as a center mid you know no, man fitness is really important period you know any every sport any sport period fitness is important yeah. but when it comes to a cdm like you said being able to keep up with the pace not for 90 minutes is tough it's hard like you know it's hard but as you as a cdm i think that like the spot that makes it so hard is because your brain works for 90 minutes. You know, because there is some spot, like, I don't know if I play left back, I just got to take the ball, give to my CDM, you know, but those guys, they got to overthink. They got to think before. So once your brain, like, you know, once your brain starts working that much, yeah. it's tiring. It's not even physically at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so when you talk about, like, physically got to be ready to run, that's fine. That's, you know, like, I can find you 10 players in US Renan College that can play CDM because of the fitness level. You know what I'm saying? But can the brain work for 90 minutes non-stop too? So mental that, fitness. M the mental fitness. But I don't even know how to make how to make that mental Talk fitness. Talk about concentration. Concentration and make your mental yeah. fitness make a sense. Because when you say mental fit mental fitness, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like be able to focus on the game for 90 minutes. Be able to think before every action for 90 minutes. Man, it's tough. Yeah. It's it tough. Is. It is. You know? It is actually hard. So like for my all my CDM there, and then like one one tip I actually gave it to you guys. I don't like you know we were talking to Josh. Yeah. What one tip I I would say to all the CDM there, and I think it worked. You know, is play FIFA, and it, it play a video game, play basketball, play football. Every time you're gonna do something, say what are you gonna do before the like whoever receiving the ball, whatever sport you're playing, say what are you gonna do before the ball come. And it's it's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. When you try to do that, it's actually hard. Think about the next move. Think about know? next move. Before you receive the ball, you say yeah. what he's going to do and you actually do it. Yeah. That's hard. That's a, just a video game. Now, imagine in real life. Yeah. What you can I even anticipate. What other, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's actually tough. So, guys, like Larry said, your fitness level has to be on top. But make sure when your body is there, your mind is there too. Otherwise, you're going to look goofy on the field. Yep. Yep. 
and probably you know there's i mean there's a lot we can talk a lot about a lot of different quality and you know we trying to like trying to short it a little bit because there's a lot you guys can have your idea of you know what the the sentiment is but we talking in general here you know so um what do you think about you know positioning and discipline because because when i talk about positioning and discipline discipline most likely it's i see this as the simple play like the way of playing yes, simple because okay. You know how like there's a lot of guys out there they like to complicate it, the soccer when you know it's always hard to make the simple decision you know so what do you think about it when it comes to the CDM does it, does it apply to him cuz I think he does Definitely yep definitely because guys all the games are start there like and I feel like we don't give enough credit to this CDM man because like I don't know maybe all of you guys know this name when I tell you guys Ngolo Kanté That's the guy, like, super small but scary. You know what I'm saying? But when you look at his game, Larry, so simple, like, so simple. Sometimes I'm like, can you try harder? But the fact that he plays so simple, like, his standard is so low, he does not try to complicate anything. That is so hard for other guys around him because those guys, they're trying to think, anticipate everything. But even though they're trying to anticipate, he even goes sim. He do, like, even less than what they would anticipate him. That's why it makes it so hard to play against guys like him. Yeah, yeah. You know, that play simple, you know? They don't want to lose the ball. And as a CDM, when you play on that spot, losing the ball is crucial. I mean, if you lose the ball, you, you can get punished. Yeah. Especially, like, the, high, the higher level you get, the less you can afford to lose the ball. Yeah, that's you know? for sure. So, that's like, sure. your, when you say your discipline, you're getting discipline and, like, your positioning. That's how I said at first, your awareness. If yeah. you're not aware, you will always have to get that one test, two tests to take info before you pass the ball. Yeah. And it's already too late because you play in a spot where there is a lot of pressure. Yeah. We don't really talk about this, but, bro, when you play in the midfield, there is a lot of pressure. Everybody say, I'm a midfield, I'm a midfielder. I like being in the middle of the game. I like being in the midfield. Yeah, because it's such more ball. But, guys, every si- it's a heart. Every blood pressure is released from there. Yeah. So the pressure that's there is different than what is on the side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard to be around there. Especially yeah. as a CDM, if you do any mistake there, guys, you're going to get punished from it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like you say, your positioning, plain simple, I feel like all those come to your awareness. Well, like us saying, having your high, your eyes behind the ball. And you know, like, like some, some simple thing. When he, when he comes, stay here, calling the ball for Larry, right? You only have 50% of the game. Yeah. You open a little bit. Now you have 70% of the game, you yeah. know? And you don't want to be flat too. But your eye, you know, like, it's just crazy. You got to want to check and see what's behind you. Yes, it is. Yeah, you know, technique, long passing, you know, short passing, and vision. What about it? No. As a CDM, your long ball has... When I say a long ball, I'm not saying you got to be a guy that got to play long ball. But sometimes, like you say, we under pressure, right? We under pressure, we under pressure, we under pressure. You being able to send a 50-yard ball to somebody's feet somebody's feet actually not in the space where they run we guessing that he's gonna get it now you being able to make the accurate passes and your ball don't take three years to come you send them yeah, amazon like prime years. quick no because that's no, what some long boys like yeah no you're gonna there ping some, it like some long boy, it, yeah. he can go to the bathroom and come back the boys <laughs> in the air like bro we can't do that no you, you gotta be able to ping, ping it. that ball yeah. like just send it the nice pace the perfect pace and, and the perfect just, height you know what i'm saying so like That long ball, it has to be on top. Yeah. You no, know, don't use it all the time. But when it's time to use it, we need you to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gotta be good. Like, I don't know if you saw this on internet. I, I won't, like, it was, I think, Paul Pogba, when he kicked the ball from, like, I don't know, 70 yard from outside his feet oh, to yeah, the guy. Outside his feet to the guy. Yeah. Guys, if, if that, that thing went viral. Okay, we're talking about Pogba. But you see, that's the idea. That's the idea. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, your long ball has to be there. And your short passes, guys, that should be like, um, it should be, I feel basic like, basic one on one. Like, sometimes I feel that some people, like, you know, some sign of me that I notice a lot, like, they, they have some floppy pass. Like, the ball bounces a lot before it gets to you. You know, sometimes the passes should be more like, you know, I don't know how to, like, really explain it. But, like, so like, as, like you got to hit as, it. You got to hit as, the as, ball. Like, they, like, you're not scared of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to hit it. Like, you got to hit that song. Like, when so, you like, hit the, it. The thing, is, the thing is, most people, like, they don't have the right technique. The, which come to the fundamentals, you know. But especially at CDM, you're gonna have all the fun, fundamentals. Like Larry said, gotta hit the ball. It's not that they don't hit the ball, but you know when you hit, you gotta like your ankle has to has to hit the ball. Yeah. Your ankle has to be like a wall to hit it. Yeah. But if your ankle is soft, it will. If, it doesn't matter how strong the ball come. If it's like a wall, if you hit the wall, doesn't matter how 
if you put enough power on it, if the ball hit the wall, the ball, w- the wall will send it back. Yeah. But like, if you hit something like soft, like uh, I don't know, a bed sheet and everything, it will not come back because yeah. it's soft. Yeah. So that's why if the ball come in to send it back, your ankle literally has to be like a wall. Yeah. And then some people that understand that, that can work for you and work against you, especially the CDM. Because if if somebody pass you and it's, it's time to make it like soft and you keep a wall, that's when the ball, the, you control by control, go three yards again. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So people got to understand that. And that's fundamental. But basically for the CDM, we can play, like, that's the thing that I'm saying. That's like one-on-one for you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Especially if you want to go to the higher level. Yeah. But now, now, now that we, you know, we, we talk about all this quality, you know, because I feel like it's really important to know what you need as a, you know, as a center mid and what's the position is about pretty much. But now, like, Related to your college experience, you know, and like the high schoolers, like what have you noticed that is more lacking when it comes to the soccer, the college game as a center mid? What what do you think are the quality that they should be that more work work more on, you know, as a player? I, Mostly center mid, as we okay, talk about it. Actually, yeah. between all in these college, quality, the best one of the best players in college that I played with was a CDM. Okay, you know, and I always I don't really claim people, but him, I feel you know I think he's up there. You know, that's a guy that the Italian dude, you know, yeah. so his background is different. I'm not going to take him as an example, you know, okay. because we don't see that every day. But mo- the most of, for most of the guy that play CDM that I see around me, they're pretty fit, like you said, you know, okay. they're really fit. That, so their fitness levels is up there. Their fitness level is up there. They can play, for, they can play 90 minutes back to back to back, you know. Most of you play most with, of you play with, you know, okay. in, in college especially. In college, not in high college school, especially. You know? But the thing is, they spend too much time on their fitness that they forgot their soccer player first. Oh, I think that's a that's big mistake. Deep. Most of the CDM that I've seen made, they're so fit that they forgot that the choices that made, because sometimes those guys can afford making a mistake. When I say that, it's just like, for example, if you lose the ball, he's so fit that he can go get that ball back. You know what I'm saying? So he lose it, get it back, lose it, get it back. So but if you look at it, lose the ball a lot. So he think, it's, he think it's fine to lose the ball or it's not that important mm-hmm. It no, doesn't matter much. No, no, it's, it's not. That's it's what not, you're it's to not say. It doesn't matter much. It's what just you like, trying to say? Here? I don't know how to explain you. Like, if you have a if you have a bank account today, okay. and every day they are putting one hundred thousand dollars in a bank account. Okay, you're gonna spend money over every day because, because the money is there. Okay. You're getting back. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, until you get to the spot where there is no money putting back anymore. If that happen, you're gonna slow down. You see what I'm saying? True. So I think that's a mistake most okay. of those guys make. They really. They, I'm not gonna say they're really good, but they're a good player. You know, but they play at the level where f- physically they above everybody okay. so they can you know what i'm saying so they're not even playing at their level so if you play against people you cannot not as fit as you know you. what i'm saying so we start seeing more mistakes so i think most of the players that i see in college as a cdm this they spend too much time on their fitness and most of my cdm that was playing in my team every single team that i play they're one of the fittest guy in the team okay. you know what i'm saying but if we bring to the soccer the technical control part. technical part they might be like if we get a rank they might be like in the maybe like 15 to 20 they're not even the top they're not even the top 15 guys you see what I'm saying? Yeah. The long ball is not there. The short passes, mm, you know, the passes is not really there. You, like in the pressure, he can't really get out of the pressure. You can't. You, know? can. you don't take And risk. even, even sometimes defensively, they're not even the best. It's just because they fit, they can be everywhere the ball it is. So they look good. You see what I'm saying? So that's one of the biggest mistakes that other guys make. So in college, or the team they play, it looks good, but you never go to the next level because once other coach sees that, they don't want you. That's true. Because guess what? The next level, everybody's fit. Everybody's fit. So like, what? Are, how different are you from others? That's the thing. So and then, and that's why they don't pay attention to it. And then, like we said this in our video, that's why the guys that go D one, D two, coaches don't read. Really, coaches really accept you because you're helping the team. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. doing something that nobody's doing. Yeah. But they don't really have time to, like, help you improve and develop as a player on your yeah. weaknesses. Yeah. You know. Like we were saying, make sure if you go to any college and you're playing, spend time on your own weaknesses because most of the coaches don't really have time for that one. Yep. They, don't, they will work on the global weaknesses of the team, mm-hmm. but individually as a player, they might tell you what you need to work on it, but they, they will not come to you specifically to yeah. work on that one, you know, individual training. Yeah. So you got to make sure, you know, like your discipline is high, is up there. Like you said, for discipline, that's one of the part of the discipline too. Your, di- your discipline is up there and then yeah. you can hold yourself accountable and go there and just improve your weaknesses but like you know from 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 playing like college and you know and club and academy and all that like risk taking as a center mid like how do you value it man risk taking. how do you like, value risk taking risk taking is everything like in life man if you go to casino and you bet all your money you can win everything you can lose everything but like if you win 
We like that. You know, everybody sees <laughs> it. But the CDM, I think the CDM is the same thing as a goalie, as a center back. They're all the same. The only difference is the CDM is a little bit higher. You know, but the thing is, the CDM is always under pressure. And if you lose the ball there, it's really crucial for them. It's the same as for the center back. The striker come to the striker come to pressure you. If you dribble him, it's it's a highlight for the camera. If you lose the ball there, nobody wanna you know it's a shame. shame yeah. Same thing, but the CDM is even worse. It's even worse because if basically to be a good CDM, this is for every position in the field. As a goalie, as a CDM, striker, to be a good player is how much hope you can give to us. We know this guy got it. Confident. Confident. Not not even you yourself, to the public. So how you how you spread your energy? How like you spread how your energy and how you make other people feel trust about you, you, trust you, you know. Trust, so yeah. the more you lose the ball, that trust goes down. All of and anyway, it gets to the point where your own team start booing you. If you watch PSG right now, when Neymar play, they boo Neymar. We're yeah. talking about him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So same thing for you. Even it does. If you play in college, maybe you don't have like you're not playing the big school. You don't have a big public. Mm-hmm. But even your teammates around, they start not trusting you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because of your choices. So making your choices really, really making a good choice and not taking risk. If you that gotta take risk and all ninety percent of your risk is successful, then yeah. keep taking your risk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's something that I always wanted to say because I feel like when it comes to like recruiting college and you know high school and mostly college, I don't know much about because I haven't played high school college in here. Does high like, school even recruit? <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, how it I works. think they do. I don't know how the process works. Do, you might tell them more about it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just going to but, uh, sign for the school. But um, I think the college when it's, uh, like coaches when it comes to like recruiting for the CDM, they picky about that position. Like I don't. You think like, they picky? What do you mean by that? Though? Like like they're really demanding. They're, oh, they're, demanding. They're, they're really demanding when it comes to like what they want their suck their sentiment me to look like to play like you know they focus a lot on that position even at practices. That's what I noticed from like my experience, and even even when you come to like, I feel like when you get to the the high level, you get, you notice the coach he kind of focus a lot on like the like this the, the mid- transition no. back is uh, really important from the back in the on the front. You know what I'm saying? And they want to make sure that the guys doing it, the guy in charge of it, the guys I would say, you know, we we talk about the C, the yeah. Sammy too, and the the cam or if you play yeah. with the cam or we yeah. play with the. The three, the, the, uh, three centimeters. Yeah, I see what you mean. Even if we go with the four flat in the middle, yeah. you know, four, four, two, like or losange, you know, like I feel like the coaches focus a lot on that. I, no, I don't know okay. what you think about it. You, like, you, you definitely right, right? Like right now we have we have a coaches like Thomas Tuchel, yeah, Pep Guardiola, yeah. You know, when you look at all those guys, when you look at their team, guys, when they get into the car, they want to go forward. Those guys cannot afford a player that going backward. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I feel like these coaches in college, a lot of mistake they're making. They're watching those guys. They're reading their book and everything. The practice session. I want to go forward too. You know what I'm saying? They want to go forward. But what do you what do you forget? You don't have those players. Those tapa- you don't have you those don't players. Have those. You don't have those players. So right now they recruit their player. They're really picky at the recruitment. They're yeah. just gonna find for the talent that the guy that midfield. Now when they bring the guys, he's not. He's even that player is a good player. We need him. We need him. We, we gotta give him time for him to perform, so we, you know he can get there. Because he's not get there in, in two months. Yeah, in the time. But they don't have time they don't to have train. Time to, that's what I was gonna say. They don't say. have time to develop the player. Yeah. So now guess what? They just gotta go there and find out who's the most fittest guy. Okay, Larry, play CDM. Can you? We see him mm. practice. You can play CDM. Okay, yeah. now you're gonna be the CDM. Even though you're not, you're not the truly CDM. Oh. My, our first choice wasn't you to be a CDM, but since you're the guy that can, can do that defensively read the game, okay, you're just gonna be there. there. So, 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 is it wrong for the coaches to because we're based on the game, we're based on the, the we're watching the high level, we kind of like base our game or everything to it and you know translate it to, to the young game, right? Because it's important, right? Because that's probably the fundamental of soccer. It is. The highest level is the fundamental, right? Because yeah. you know, is it wrong for the college no, coaches? They're not, they're to, not wrong, to, to, they're definitely not wrong. Is it wrong? I'm, or, just, I'm just gonna give you an example, they right just now. don't have the player to. Keep up with I'm that. I'm gonna give an example oh, right now, like, right? Yeah, go ahead. You you listen to rap, I listen to rap music, you know, yeah. we like how they dress, yeah. how their clothes and everything. Yeah. But like, can you afford their clothes right now? Me no. personally, I can't. No. So when I go, I look at it, okay, I look at the style. How do you know I, I can't? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I said I don't know for you, but me definitely I can. He's a big timer. Nah, I hey, definitely hey, can. Hey, keep going the story. Right, Let's but, focus but on it. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. When I look at the style, I'm like, okay, you know. I like this color. He he wearing blue, red. You know, I'm gonna do the same thing. Do, do I try to buy the exact same clothes? No, not. but maybe the same color. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Same thing for for coaches. If you look at those things, mm. okay, you gotta understand. 
in Liverpool, it's Fabinho that's playing. It. Can I find Fabinho right now in college? He wouldn't be there. He, he would wouldn't be in be Liverpool. There. Yeah, fact. You see fact, what I'm saying? Fact. Like when I wa- when I watch Real Madrid, can I find Casemiro? Even though when I look in the world, can I find Busquets? Mm. He wouldn't be whatever he is. He would be in Barcelona. Can we right find Genduzi? He can. No. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what the coach gotta understand. Okay, I see what this guy's doing, but one question they don't ask themselves: How can I prepare my guy to be like that? Mm. That's one question. But guess what? They don't have time. They have for that. time. They don't have time. It's either. You see what I'm saying? We always come back to case to like to, to, to the to, to, to the, the main one, to the main issue. Saying? That's a main issue the when it comes step. to that. And I don't know if you guys really like, we, we've been saying that in many videos, in many time, many. I'm even, bro. No, God, no, Larry. Like, like college is not there to develop you, bro. Like, no, you gotta no, come there think ready. About, think about it. And You're gonna learn. And, That's for, not, and guys, for as a CDM, not, for the CDM, college is not there for, to get you ready. But as CDM, guess what? That's a position where you gotta spend time with the ball. You know what I'm saying? We, and, and then in US, I don't know if you if you like if you're aware of this, but that's where we see a lot of guys that put extra work. Yeah. A lot of guys. And even lot, we said we, get, we said this, you gotta pay to play in US, you gotta do this. But the guys, the team that develop are expensive to play. So the guys are willing to pay that money. It's a whole business. A, yep. You see what I'm saying? So at the same time, we said it's expensive, but if I'm a CDM, I gotta spend time with the ball. You know, even I can watch YouTube video, train myself, work on it. All that is nice. But I gotta be in the structure where they actually train me to be a better player. I need that competition. I need to make, I need that awareness with the pe- yeah. people that have the same speed as me, you know? Yeah. So for me to be able to do that, guess what? Guys are willing to pay 7,000 to go play because the team that they're playing in are not really developing them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, and yeah, go ahead. I, I, no, I, no, go and, ahead. And I always wanted to say that, like, if... If you had to make, you know, player like Pogba, Kante, all these big guys paying twelve thousand or whatever every month or year, we will never have of you know, we will never see them right now playing soccer, honestly. No. So, you know, just having just understand that and you know, and then we're gonna might make a video about it or so, an episode. So like, it. but let's so go back with this. No, no, but, but, but like Oh, you wanna say add something else? No, 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 no. Like you're good on that, but like what I'm saying. Since the coaches in college doesn't have a time to develop player, right? Yeah. Especially guys like a CDM. Guys, I promise you, I used that to see, time. I used to see this in my own practice, in my own team back in France. We had some CDM. Sometimes they used to have their own practice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like sometimes we would practice together as a team. The CDM, let's say, let's yeah. say the last 45 minutes, coach will say, okay, the left back, you guys going to go crosses, the outside back. The, the you guys going to cut for, for, for the forward, they can finish, you know? But the coach will literally spend time. We, we will be work. with the like with the assistant coach and them, but the head coach will spend time with those CD Tactical came, work. All the midfielder, you know what I'm saying? The, give them the ball in certain situations. Like they will literally have their own practice. And if we can watch them, it wasn't fun for them. But guess what? In my team, those are one of the most technical guys because there is some mis- technical mistake we cannot afford them to make. We cannot afford them to make. You That's know, deep. same thing in US. That's important. I, I think I think it should be on US. And then guess what? Guys will do in that we will 11, 12. Damn. 11 12 guys were doing that Damn. you see what i'm saying so like they, they go to practice they practice but those guys have their own practice and that's where that's where actually you know here we say coach our pickies right that's where you're gonna prove us if you really want to be a cdm or not yeah either way you can do this work or you can if yeah. you can then that's fine go be a left back yeah. or go be a center back or go be in a bench go learn in the bench yeah, on and the then, bench, and then that's tough because you know when 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 you come about you know we talk about you eighteen and uh, you 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 thirteen and twelve. It just shows like the difference of level when you it come is. to you fifteen. It is when you got my. That is a big difference. It's a big difference. It's a Larry. You know what I'm there's saying? There's a big difference. There's man. a big difference. Even though I, I know that, you know, I'm talking about the best. Obviously, I'm talking about like if you take Spain or France, you fifteen right now. It's just it's just something else you know what i'm saying but um you know of course when it will come to like the teams u15 teams it will be a little bit different because there's different nationalities Nationality, and, you know, yeah. but you know but national team is like the best of the best you know of the na- of the nation so it's kind of like of course the level will be higher right but let's go back we talk about the cdm right the, or even the center defensive midfielder call it as you want but for me i think you know as you say before it's a position of the shadow and, shadow. and everything but like you know, like, just just a funny question, right? Like when when, when 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 I can <laughs> this face, man. Hey guys, if, guys, <laughs> if you make this part of the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, and then go ahead and just like drop a like, comment, comment, like, comment, say something man. right now, man. Say something right now, and share our podcast with all your CDM though. Yeah, be, be, 
Should you actually make another one for the forward and all that too? We're gonna say, no, we're actually gonna try to react to this one. If uh, you need anything about the forward, yeah. guys, and if you want us to bring an actual forward here, we got some big time forwards for you. Hey, you know? hey, so, but you know, I was saying, one like, city here, how did you? <laughs> nah. But like, how did you like actually like knew that you wanted to be a left back or like how? Did you, why didn't you play CDM? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about spot right now. I actually, I play CDM. Where I did play CDM. Where did you play CDM? I play I play CDM for like two years. Where Castre Castre Football Club. I played CDM for two years. Didn't you play CDM at Sartre High School? I did play CDM. Uh, okay, US is different because w- the level in high school is just. You what can, do you mean? You can play while walking. Let's be honest. Are uh, you? Funny, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not speaking on the on the high school level. But yeah. let's be honest, especially in Minnesota, like you know what I'm saying. If it was like in Texas, in like you no, know, where the soccer is big, no. But bro, Minnesota, it was different. Still growing. But I did play CDM. You know, I really like the position of CDM. But when I moved to US, I couldn't play CDM in college. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I okay. wasn't. My fitness level wasn't didn't allow me to play CDM mm-hmm. in college. But I did play CDM in first for like two years. Uh, and how it was in casting? Tell us about it. No, actually, I, <laughs> no, no, no. Here, yeah. because you ended up being a left back. No, 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 no. <laughs> I started playing. Le- I started playing left back when I went with the senior team. Okay, you know. But when I was with my own team, <laughs> I don't so care. so like no, that's so, actually no, no, good. No, that's listen, no, listen. there's nothing no, no, wrong no. with that. I was playing CDM <laughs> in the in the system like four two three one. Okay, so I was the um, the second guys. Yeah. So my job wasn't really the one that that <laughs> take. No, no, my job wasn't really the one that like defend the game. Actually, like how? My we I'm playing with two guys. You no, know, in the front with, or in the no, back? No, we playing four two three one. So okay. two CDM. You know. Okay, two, two CDM. Holding me. Okay, two holding. Not CDM. Two holding me. Yeah. So the the one that got the was the actual CDM. His job was to do the dirty job. Okay. My job was to just take the ball and get out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just put the speed on it. Yeah. That's it. And actually, like it was fun. At that time, it was good. Uh, and then the start how we play in French is more like it's not play, 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 play. You know, defend. It's more tactical. Yeah. Defend. Get the ball. Okay, the, the other team, the tactical too. Now we gotta find a way to play. So okay. it was different. But when I moved to US, yeah. in high school I played CDM too. It was the fun part. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. played CDM. It was easy, like I could, because I could see the game. But when I went to college, I was like, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna play left back. And they hired me there to play left back. You know, because the coaches, when the coaches see like the long game and everything, it's like, okay, I want you to play. like coach told me, can you play left back? I said, I thought I play, that's what I play actually. I'm not a CDM. Yeah. You know, and then. I came to school and you see all the actual CDM, bro. Let's be honest, you can you can do this. You know, physically at least you can. Because if you play like that, you're just gonna expose yourself. Yep. And like we said, if you go to college not ready, you're gonna be ready in the be- on the bench. Yep. You know, so you yep. go there not fit. The other guy that came already fit, you're gonna be in the bench. Right. So I'm saying like, how I knew I wasn't the actual CDM. First of all, if when I play like my IQ of soccer, and if I play against somebody that have the same IQ as me. I can I can't pay him. He he will see that I'm not that guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He will see that I'm not a guy. But of course, if we me against people that like I can see better than, faster than them, of course I can play that spot. I can I can be good there. But of course, if you go in D two, G one, you know, even Juco, like you play against guys there, they will see not a not a not a um, CDM. So like we say, your awareness. I'm aware of the game, but if I if I gotta play, my roommate was a CDM. Mm-hmm. You know, he will see some stuff that I wouldn't even think about it. Yeah. Is he, is he that kind of level? Yeah. He's different. Yeah. He's seeing something already that like, I wouldn't even thought about it. And we're talking about this on the video, not even the game. We sit on the video. He would tell me some stuff that like, I didn't even thought about it. He's like, look, you know, you already see the thing. I'm not even thinking about it. So it's two different things of like awareness. Everybody can be like, I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware. You know? We watched the highlight yesterday of CDM. Yeah. When we watch it, we all say the same thing. Yeah. I, I can tell you his next move. I can tell his next move. You know, of, I'm pretty sure if somebody were, if somebody has watched you play on the CDM, he will say the same thing. So that's as a CDM, you gotta be honest to yourself, man. I love playing CDM. I touch the ball more. It look nice. You know what I'm saying? Fancy and everything. But man, that position is not for everybody. That's why most of the team there is only one CDM, two winger, two striker, two no no no. But there is only one CDM, yeah. two center back. It's only one CDM, man. Yeah. You cannot double like you can fake that. You can fake that position. And 
I mean, sometimes they're trying to make, you know, like, as you say, two holding, but even when you hold, it's like somebody would be higher at doing that, the game. But yeah. here, like you're saying that, two holding, when you look at the French team, yeah. like, you know, Pogba and Kante, we yeah. all know the CDM that is Kante. Yeah. Pogba is just there to really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's that dirty job, that CDM job, Kante has to do it. Yeah. And Pogba is there and he can put some Toliso fake around them to help him. To help, yeah. But like, the they, balance, to they, balance the midfield. But they're not yeah. there to do the CDM yeah. job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you look at Bar Barca, like, the Pedri, the Gavi, they're not there to do the CDM job. The yeah. CDM there, we all know who is. But good that actually you brought Barca, right? You brought Barca and you brought you brought France, national team. So, you know, let's talk about Didier Deschamps and like his vision of the CDM. Do you think, you know, bringing like to college, do you think like the coach mentality has to do a lot with how the CDM will perform? Of course. Yeah. I wasn't even feeling my question. So I guess he no, guessed that already. But no, 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 no. Like, like you think the coach mentality impact the CDM performance? Okay. Like, you know, of course. Like in which way? Like it does. For example, like... Because um, a lot of different coaches can like tell the CDM to do different stuff, you know? That's what I'm... I like, of course, like the coach, how you play affect... Now it's just the CDM. Affect the whole team. But since the CDM is, is in your heart, that's why some coach sometimes we don't understand their choice. They go with one CDM. We're like, why are you going with this guy? Why don't you go with Larry? Why are you going with Us? But what we don't understand... Yeah. Larry fit more in his style, and he'd rather go with Larry than going with Us. Okay. Because Us is... Even Us is better, but it's not really the style that he's looking for. You okay. see what I'm saying? Okay. Sometimes we see those choices. For that specific game. For that, not even for, for that specific game. For his style. For his style. Sometimes we see some player pushing players. That one player. But we're like, why is he choosing this guy? But sometimes what we don't understand too, since that's the heart of his game, he better go with somebody that he know this guy fit in what I'm looking for. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Like, I mean, I know, two, 2 plus 2 give 4. Give 4. That's two, what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying like, and it's easy because as a CDM, if you're a coach and your CDM don't do what you want him to do, yeah. you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Bro. You're in big time trouble. Oh, Sometimes we can afford about a striker. You know what I'm saying? Like when Mourinho said a story about uh, Balotelli, Balotelli yeah. Red Card, we can afford those guys. But I'm pretty sure that same thing happened to his CDM. He cannot afford. Yeah. He cannot afford. But, you know, before, you know, I w first of all, I would thank Usni for sharing his <laughs> experience. No, actually, His story bro. about being a guys, CDM. I actually play this guy. I guess he play everywhere, bro. No, bro. I actually play. <laughs> there, I, I was a winger and I yeah, moved to CDM. Yeah. I started playing left back when I went to the. Man, don't confuse them, man. We're about to <laughs> end this, man. Hey, but before we end this video, please, this episode, if you liked it, please make sure you comment, drop comment, and follow us on YouTube, on IG. We're on Only Big Time, Only Big Time 4. Make sure you check the other episode. We're dropping a new episode every Wednesday, man. Make sure you guys keep up with the content, man. Hey, as far as us, OBT. OBT. Only big time, man. Let's get it.